Hello friends, in this session we will see first question on evolute and involute. So, let us say the question is given as such, where we have been provided with a cycloid x equal to theta plus sin theta and y equal to 1 minus cos theta. So, we have to check that the evaluate of this cycloid is also another cycloid which is given by this expression. So, first of all, we can see that in this case, the curve is given in the parametric form. So, let us say that the curve is given as x equal to x theta theta is the parameter and y equal to y theta. So in such cases we can find the center of curvature by another formula which is also given by let's say c with the coordinates x bar and y bar. So this x bar will be given as x minus y dash or y1 times of x dash square plus y dash square divided by x dash times of y double dash minus x double dash times of y dash and the y coordinate will be given by the expression y plus x dash times of the same thing x dash square plus y dash square divided by x dash times of y double dash minus x double dash times of y dash. So we can see one thing that this factor coming along with y dash or coming along with x dash in the second expression is same. So let's start with finding this expression and then accordingly we can move towards finding the coordinate. So we have got x equal to theta plus sine theta so x dash that is derivative of x with respect to theta will actually be 1 plus cos theta similarly x double dash that is second derivative will become minus sine theta similarly for y being equal to 1 minus cos theta so this dy by d theta or simply y dash is going to be sin theta. Now y double dash for this is going to be cos theta. So for that part now we can move to the calculation of the common factor the factor which we were talking about that is x dash square plus y dash square divided by x dash y double dash minus x double dash y dash. So x dash square will be 1 plus cos theta square. y double dash square will be sin theta square. x dash that is 1 plus cos theta times of y double dash that is cos theta. x double dash which is minus sin theta times of y dash which is sin theta. So this comes out to be 1 plus this is cos square theta plus 2 cos theta plus sin square theta divided by cos theta plus cos square theta minus minus plus so plus sin square theta. So this is you can see we have got cos square theta and sin square theta will become 1 and plus 1 will become 2. So this is 2 plus 2 cos theta divided by if you see this sin square theta and cos square theta will become 1. So this is you can say 1 plus cos theta. So we have a common factor of 2 in the denominator and numerator can be cancelled to leave us with so this particular expression comes out to be 2. Now coming back to the expression for 
x bar that is center of curvature coordinates this is x minus y dash times of that thing the complete factor which we have taught, looked about this thing which we have found to be equal to 2 in this case so we'll directly write this as minus y dash times of 2 and y bar will be y plus x dash times of 2 again so x which was theta plus sin theta and y dash which is sin theta so minus 2 sin theta so x bar becomes theta minus sin theta and y bar which is y so y is 1 plus sorry 1 minus cos theta plus 2 times of x dash so x dash is 1 plus cos theta so 1 plus cos theta this becomes 1 minus cos theta plus 2 plus 2 cos theta so y bar becomes uh, we can like considering the form we want we are looking for this is y minus 2 equal to 1 plus cos theta so let's let's arrange it in that manner only so taking this 2 on the other side we can write this as y dash minus 2 equal to so we have 1 and minus cos theta plus 2 cos theta will become simply cos theta so that's it we have got our expression here x bar is actually theta minus sin theta and y bar minus 2 equal to 1 plus cos theta so we can see that this is also a form of cycloid and we had to show that the evolute comes out to be in this form so that's it we have been completing here what we are looking for thank you